Hello everyone, welcome to One Stop Mathematical Solutions. Today we are going to see about neighborhood of a point. A set N, the subset of R, is said to be a neighborhood of a point P if we can find an open interval, say I, such that P belongs to I and it is contained in N. Then N is called as neighborhood of P. Okay. Let us see what is meant by delta neighborhood. Delta neighborhood of a point is nothing but a neighborhood of a point excluding the point itself. If N is a neighborhood of P, then N minus P is the delta neighborhood of P. Now let us see some results on the neighborhood of a point. The first result says that an open interval itself is a neighborhood of all its points. Because if we have an open interval here, at every point we can find another open interval which contains the point and contained in the given open interval okay do not worry about a and b because these two are not in the set itself the second result is a closed interval is the neighborhood of all its points but except the end points so consider open interval sorry closed interval a comma b so as i said earlier for any uh, number between them we can find an open interval contained in the element and contained in the closed interval right but for the end points here i cannot find the open interval which is entirely contained in a comma b so excluding a comma b sorry excluding the points a and b the interval is neighborhood for all its internal point third result is a non empty finite set is not a neighborhood for any of its points Okay, if we have a finite set like 1, 2, 3, etc., 100, then, then we will draw like this, right? 1, 2, 3. So, this is my set. But I cannot find an open interval which is contained entirely in the set because it includes all the other points which is not in the set, right? So, we cannot find an open interval. So, it is not a neighborhood of any of its points. Fourth result says any superset of of a neighborhood is also a neighbor of a point. Okay, so if uh, for a point P, if N is a neighborhood, then any superset which contains N is also a neighbor. Okay. Fifth result says that the intersection of two neighborhoods is also a neighborhood. For example, if I have my point here, if A is a neighborhood of P and B is also a neighborhood of P, then the intersection here, right? This thing let us call it as N. This is also a neighborhood of P. Okay. Next result is a set A is a neighborhood of X if and only if it satisfies this condition that there exists a positive integer such that the interval x minus 1 by n x plus 1 by n this is contained in this result is same as the 
previous one but instead of saying any open interval we have specifically say uh, said that there exists a small neighborhood of x in distance 1 by n such that this is contained in okay let us see some examples for neighborhoods take the set of all natural numbers 1 2 etc so it is not a neighborhood of any of its points because at any point we cannot find a interval contained entirely in n okay so it is not a neighborhood of any of its points but on the other hand the set of all real numbers is a neighborhood of each of its points thank you guys see you next time